good day in uh, the end times here on Saturday, March 9th, 2024. So uh, I just mentioned I was heading in to, to buy some tequila at the Publix grocery store. Uh, liquor store so I don't get Cuervo 1800 that often I mean it I, I think it's great that one of the main reasons that I don't get it is because it's too expensive so a bottle just a regular size bottle of, uh, of if you just go in and buy a bottle of uh, Cuervo 1800 tequila off the shelf is $37 uh, so I was in there joking with the uh, the clerk is that they never have these buy one get one free deals at the liquor store like I nailed my ice cream my my triple chocolate fudge brownie uh, ice cream nailed it two for one uh, and, and I was joking with the woman about the ice cream I said okay when I go to the liquor store am I gonna get two for one and uh, she goes well try your luck so I headed over there and I was joking with the guy that there's no that how come I never get the two for one on my tequila here and so he uh, basically took me and, and told me how to do the math and and play you had to play two different levels of sales and so it came out if you bought five bottles that each bottle came out to half price actually a little bit less about to eighteen dollars so uh you can buy one bottle for $37, but if you spend, what did I just spend, $86, you can buy five times the amount of tequila for 86. So he was saying that there you go, instead of it wasn't buy one get one free it was he said basically you buy two and a half and you get two and a half free and uh, so I just picked up this Cuervo 1800 uh, tequila for whatever uh, what is 80 well, it's 86 I mean, tax and everything 86 divided by 5 uh, whatever that math is is what I just paid uh, for uh, five bottles of Cuervo 1800. I hit something similar to this when I was down in Sarasota with Sandy and I was kicking myself. A very similar thing where I got the Ornitos tequila doing something similar to like $13 a bottle and I, I I'm still been kicking myself that I there was no limit on it down there uh, I, I should have bought out the whole fucking store just at the regular Sarasota liquor store but it really pays to uh, it really pays to uh, you know shop those sale things and and talk to the clerk about what you're trying to do so I just feel like good God uh, I, I am set so I now have five I went to get one bottle came home with five bottles and I asked him if he had ever heard the term Jevons paradox and he actually had <laughs> he knew exactly what Jevons paradox was and uh, I said well we will see if I become a victim of Jevons paradox or not so this dude, uh, what just happened to him, uh, yesterday uh, he sold a $50,000 lottery ticket there. $50,000. This guy, uh, 
the clerk that was helping me and uh, the dude just came in and handed him $500 for selling him the uh, $50,000. So that's cool. He's spreading the wealth. <clears throat> came back and gave this man five $100 bills for, uh, uh, yep, striking the lottery. Anyway, I have, uh, looks like uh, we will make it through a windy sunset before uh, the big blow blows in, washes out this picking party. So I'm going to go celebrate the end of non-daylight savings time. This will be my last 5.30 sunset of 2020, well, until November. It will be my last 5.30 margarita. And I will see what I feel like and what the weather looks like in three hours. But judging by what's going on with that sky... It's looking more and more like tequila, ice cream, and clonopin doomsday trailer on Saturday night. <clears throat> yep, 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 yep. My eyes.